네. 박성수 한번 공격 깔끔한 산계 네. 거의 흠집도 못 내고 바뀌 박성수 최대 네. 두개 봤어요 하나 네. 두개 봤어요 잠깐만 놓쳐 하나 두개 봤어요 여기 있어 아 정종현 역시 정종현 아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
Tasteless, if you add all the other people's records together, it's not even that good. I guess he's better than four players at once. And apparently he is, man. Um, I, I can't believe uh, how well Squirrel's been doing. So if there's ever going to be someone who could be a Royal Rotor, this is your guy right here. Yeah, he's uh, he's got to tighten up, though, Tasteless. He's he got to be careful. Normally he plays pretty solid style for the first bit of the game and hits some sort of strong timing. But, of course, that game he went for a much quicker timing. True. And MVP caught him off guard. So MVP may have... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look out, everybody. The finals. It's Nesty. It's Nesty. Probably not exactly pleased with the fact that he's not in the finals himself, but, of course, here to support MVP. As they are yeah. teammates and homies. MVP most likely practiced only against Nesty's Protoss. <laughs> Probably had a big losing record. But uh, that's got him ready, man. He already won game number one. There you go. Thanks, Nesky. Nesky probably was like, you'll probably go for Gate Gas Expo into four gate. So just go ahead and do a Marine drop with Hellions at the front. And he's like, all right, Nesky. And then he won. Wow, that's probably sorry. exactly what happened. That's, I think that's what happened. You're I was usually, there. That's what happened. You're usually right about this kind of stuff. All right, game number two. Again, uh, it's a big moment uh, in StarCraft 2 in esports history. There's whatever result we're going to get, it's going to change everything. Change everything, Tasteless. Tomorrow will not be like today, guys. Oh, man. You'll wake up and you'll feel different. Get on Twitter, hashtag GSL. Tweet at us. Or call me Tasteless. He's our Tosis. And I want this trending worldwide. We've done it before. We've actually gotten GSL trending number one worldwide. Yes. Let's do it again here. All right. Time. Game number two. He's about to go underway. Tasteless with me is Artosis. We're here in Seoul, Korea. Bring you the best StarCraft 2 action in the world, the best esports action in the world, here at GoldTV.net. All right, here we have a three-time champion. He won game number one. He is none other than... <laughs> it only MVP. works when I do it, Artosis. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you do it, it's not going to work, like, Why is Artosis talking? He needs to shut up. You Come want, on, Tasis. We're trying the next one. <laughs> All right. Once we get that on screen for uh, everybody. There is uh, MVP, player we just introduced. He hasn't even opened the mouth yet, man. Yeah, man. When he starts to have his mouth open, that's when you know it's dangerous. And then down here, or up here, rather, in the top left. Up and down don't really count in a geography way, though. So, you know what? Down here, we have a great Protoss player, perhaps the first Royal Rotor. He is... Starting Squatter. His intros are hard. Yeah, they're difficult, man. I'm, they're not as easy as... I'm messing up, dude. It's all right. Doing fine. Now, um... Brittle kind of had a, a rough start there. That doesn't mean that he can't come back. I don't think anybody, including the players, thought the game was going to look like that. Yeah. A base trade in under 10 minutes? No, of course not. Of that course not. basically never happens. No, it doesn't. Normally the base trades occur when neither player is sure if they can actually attack each other. They cross the armies pass like two ships in the in the night. The only time I've seen base trade scenarios like that is proxy two gate PvP. When oh, you right, realize you right. can't stop it, so you send your stalkers across the map. You're like, well, my main's done. So you send your stalkers and probes and try to out micro. Uh, that's the only times I've seen that. So pretty insane. All right, well, um, they are in cross spots. This is actually a great map for uh, for PDT as well. Makes for some really interesting games. Oh, yeah, we've had uh, some pretty masterful games here. In fact, uh, I like this map for Squirtle, I have to say. You know, this map is going to be something he's pretty comfortable on. You can get that three base relatively easily. That's oh, a pretty sick poster. That is a sick poster. Partner GSL. The begin. Wow. It's deep. It's profound. Oh, the probe gets away. Very nice. Only losing shields there. Yeah. And uh, probably going to just throw down a quick yeah. command center now. Now, we've seen him do triple command center before. Yeah. Is there a possibility of him doing that this time? Definitely a possibility. For Squirtle, though, we do see he has two gases taken with two probes in each. And that's becoming more and more popular because Terran can't tell for sure that you're going to fast expand, but it's still a very good form of fast expand. So. 
everybody's going to think that's probably it, but I would say, based upon seeing that, that doing a double command center, you have to be really pretty sure that they're going to take a quick nexus. Because if they don't, if he like goes into a one base like Void Ray all in or something, after your SCV leaves, and you went double command center, you're a dead guy. You're a dead nerd. Yeah, man. You better hope your zombie can win the rest of GSL for you, because you died. <laughs> Well, uh, Squirrel's tanking up gradually here. Note, uh, you know, he's, he's being very uh, precise with how he's handling his economy with those two probes in each gas. Yeah, he's getting that Nexus, so MVP would be fine to go ahead and uh, take another command center. But instead, he's just doing it very standard. Probe is break dancing right there in the corner. The stalker <laughs> going to scout when he can scout. Yeah, doing a little poke up there to see, okay, how many Marines does he have? And now he's confirmed that. So there's a Robo Bay on the way because, you know what? He still can't know for sure what's going on. Yeah, and it's smart to get a quick robo bay, and it fits Squirtle's style well as well. He does like uh, one base, uh, two base Colossus builds. We see the SV does scout the Nexus, and he's going to actually get to see uh, the robo as well, and a couple more gates. So that is an amazing scout in that SCV. Yeah, really nice there. Now, uh, there's nothing out of the ordinary for the builds we see from these two players so far. Yeah. Um, so again, no indication that... Uh, you know, MVP is interested in playing like he did before. So many nerds. Look at that. That's a lot of nerds, man. Well, that SCV going to get out of here. All right, Stim's coming up here. Okay, and so we got to figure out here what is Squirtle actually going to go for. He's, this is very safe what he's showing us so far. This is basically the safest way to go ahead, expand, and tech up. He's going to have the Observer. He's going to have Immortals. No way for him to die as long as he micros well. But will he go into Colossus? That's the question. Yeah, I mean, so far I told you to be completely safe. This is like StarCraft II with condoms. I mean, this is just, you know, That's very... exactly very, what I was thinking. I know. I, I speak in metaphors only. <laughs> no, but um, on a serious note, though, you are absolutely correct. Uh, completely uh, bulletproof. Unlike some of the other builds we've seen from Squirtle, I think he'd probably... I don't know if this is the build he played out for this map, no matter what, but I, he's definitely saying, all right, I can't predict MVP. None of the other Protosses could. I need to have something that is going to be based off me gathering information and be ready to defend. Well, something's building there, but we have something else yeah, so we can't see what it is. So oh, it's a forge. Okay. Okay. Oh, a single forge. Okay, that's something Squirrel does long. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, he had that that's rallied. That's huge. That's huge. He had that rallied yeah. on the Observer that's, rally. That's a, that's a big mess up. That yes. is a big, that's a sick boo-boo. That is that's a, a sick boo-boo, okay? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to have... I mean, everybody rallies their observer to the Terrence base, but then after that, you immediately have the next rally for the Immortal out there. Yes. Squirtle is starting to choke, guys. This is yeah. not looking good. That's actually what that is. That's an I amateur. Mean, that's a novice mistake. How often do you think that happens in practice games? Never. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Uh, so he's in trouble already. This is... And the thing is, choking begot choking. Okay? When you start to choke a little bit on the biggest stage in the world, the GSL Finals, you choke even more. Yeah, I mean, essentially, the, the anxiety and the stress is, is cyclical. You know, right now, he's sitting there, and he's like, oh, my God, I just did that. I just did something I never do. I lost the most important unit in my entire army, and the whole world saw it. Yeah, that, that, MVP that, saw it. My army's going to be weaker because of it. You're better off losing a sentry. Yeah. You're betting away, you're better off losing your observer if you get some intel. Yeah. At least you can make that again. Hell, it's you can lose observers. That's fine. Yeah. Not immortal, though. No. That Immortal is supposed to stay with your army the entire game. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's making another one right now. Imagine if he had Immortal at home. This little attack moving out wouldn't be scary at all. No two medevacs. The Observer does see it. Yep. Wow. Imagine Man, if that he loses army. this, I think there's no way MVP can be stopped. The Observer's moving away. Now, he's going to be careful because he, uh, MVP can and probably will see the blur. Uh, in which case, he's... Uh, all right. See, that's what I was talking about. Oh my god, our yeah. This is not looking good for Squirtle. No, it's not. Blink is on the way. That plus one armor as well. He does have another Immortal now, so that will help, but again, imagine two Immortals. Two is so much better than one. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't mean twice as good. It's more than twice as good. It actually really helps your damage output to actually pick off those Marauders so quickly. All right, now he's got some Vikings coming in over here too. It looks like the Terran will probably just back off. Nothing to that factory there. To uh, mess up some of the stalkers in the back of the Protoss's army, mm -hmm. they might end up attacking that factory instead of hitting the army. 
Um, and that's one of those small things you can do that really uh, gives you an edge. MVP going to take his third base over here. Uh, right now, MVP has no intent of ending the game right away. He basically wants to make sure um, that there's no way that a Squirtle's going to get a lead on him. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's working out fine. His expansion obviously going to be much quicker than his opponents here. Ideally, if he can get this in the red, that'd be good. It's going to burn down. He actually, I believe, blink, uh, blinked yeah. under it. Wanted to make sure that he gets it. And yeah, that should end up dying, but he always could drop a mule uh, repair it if he wants. Now we do have a green running in and getting a lot of intel. Oh man. Oh my MVP's god. MVP's scouting is so on key this now game. Now he's attacking the third base, forcing to cancel. And MVP's gonna just slip right out. That oh is the god. sign of such a good player. Yeah. The factory will burn down. This hey tasteless. Yeah. I want to put in my prediction for who's gonna win this now. Okay. I think MVP might take this championship. Yeah, I think you might be right. Uh, well, you know, Squirrel obviously still has his chances, but he knows how far behind he is that he is actually making a robotics bay. But here's the thing about that timing, okay? He already has a lot of medevacs, so switching into Vikings is no issue at all, okay? If you go Colossus right away, then they don't really have medevacs. They have to choose, oh, do I make do I make Vikings? Do I make medevacs? It's really difficult. But right now, it's like, well, as soon as he knows, he just makes Vikings. Uh, well, he's moving out again. Ghost Academy uh, is done. He's upgrading there, and uh, it looks like he might even do a little bit of scouting here with the Vikings. And he's actually going to see that oh he's my going God. for Colossus. This oh, has been some man. of the best scouting by MVP. And look, he actually wants the army to go back into the main here, because that way he can force the third to be canceled again. And the Vikings just trying to battle. Kill Stalker off two of them, though. All right, and now dropping oh, over here in the net. I don't know if that's the best. Uh, some good force fields and clock games as well as blinks should be able to have to Yeah, I think MVP is going to have to pull out of here. But MVP actually doing a pretty good job picking off some units here. He's got to be careful though. I feel like this is an over middle tasteless. No, it absolutely is. And the Stalkers should even chase down the Medivacs. Yeah, okay, MVP now making the first blunder of the series so he far. He his mouth tasteless. His it's mouth is open. It's all over. We refer to MVP as the bailing whale nerd. Yeah. Catching nerd krill because he keeps his mouth open. When he's really starting to concentrate, it just hangs open. Well. It feels tasteless like he has grass attacks despite being a water type because Squirtle wow. is weak to him right now. No kidding. Well, Squirtle did manage to win that battle. So, uh, you know, that's one small victory for him, but he's going to have to, uh, you know, with the MVP, that was a bad judgment call. The mistakes you've seen from Squirtle have actually been uh, choking and lack of concentration. That's a good way to put it, tasteless. And, I mean, MVP at this point. How many Vikings does he have? I don't think he has many right now because he did lose those two and he's making ghosts, but against Colossus Tech, he really does need to power up into some Vikings because these Colossi are going to be very scary. It's his only splash damage out, whereas MVP, yeah, the ghosts are going to be nice, EMPs are going to be nice, but really he needs anti-Colossus, not ghosts. All right. Um, fourth base now for MVP uh, being acquired. I gotta say, um, you know, th these distances, especially with the Protoss uh, losing a few key units, it's gonna be tough for him to push all the way across the map. Ooh, ooh, he's getting hallucination right now. This is smart. I like Maybe this. he's gonna use hallucination on Colossuses or Colossi and force out more Vikings. Well, yeah, it could be. You know what? One thing that I'm a little bit interested in here is he's actually. I don't like hallucination in this particular circumstance. I kind of like it because it would be smart to make, maybe make a couple of Maybe Phoenixes colossi. or something to scout because he has to keep making Colossi. So maybe he doesn't want to... Colossi to try to make it so that it's harder to target the right ones. Maybe. But yeah. I, I like Hallucination with uh, Charge Zealots. He has a, basically a Stalker army. When you have a Stalker Colossus army, you need a lot of force fields to keep units away from you. Whereas with a Zealot army, when they do have Charge, your sentries become much less useful because you results are just going to close anyway. So in that case, uh, it can be very good. But I want to see if he, I think he's going to go for Colossus Hallucinations, which is... That should be a really neat. good move because, um, you know, whether it's the Vikings or the uh, or the, Medi the Marine Marauder uh, Death Ball, you want to shoot down the Colossus first if you can. Yeah. Now, notice that Squirtle is staying up in his part of the map in these tight areas. He has to do that. If he walks through the center, he just, he doesn't have enough force fields to stop that army from getting a huge concave and killing it. So he has to stay near the edges of the map right now. He has to stay near terrain that is going to act to keep Marines and Marauders away from certain sides of his army. Absolutely. The last thing he wants to be oh is my God, out he's going right Oh, well, no, no. I don't know if this is a good idea. Well, we'll see if he has enough now. Do we have any Vikings? I don't even know. Right. And 
Well, this is a huge con game for MVP right now. Four. We have four losses to back in Gunner dead because we just don't have any Vikings. Just two Vikings attacking here. No, he made a bunch of fake void rays with that attack. And actually, uh, it's a wow. really nice uh, play there by Squirtle. The ghosts remain. I gotta tell you, man, he just crushed through MVP's army. Just no, not nearly enough Vikings there to actually do anything. These cloaked ghosts, though, doing a great job picking off a lot of these Colossi. Uh, well, Squirtle's got the momentum on his side now. And this is pretty scary. Uh, right now, Squirtle I actually pushed him all the way back up here. The Immortal gonna be very helpful in this situation. The third base, kind of an interesting position here for Squirtle because he's actually in the middle of all the bases. The Ghost and I, the Pylon, though, has Squirtle overextended. Well, he may have to run away, but that is a lot of stalkers, man. He has good upgrades as well. Uh, it looks like this game is going to normalize a little bit for now. MVP with five bases against the four of Squirtle. But obviously that trade went pretty well for Squirtle. That was, I think, as best as he could have hoped for. It's almost surprising with all the great scouting that MVP has done this game that he really didn't have the Viking counts to make that battle go better in his favor. All right. The Stalker's now coming here, chasing down some medevacs. By the way, he has an ungodly number of medevacs at this point in time. It's like every Marauder gets some, and Marine gets some personal yeah. medevac. Trying to blink away. Is this a good idea, though? There's so uh, many medevacs. Does he have the crucial amount? Oh, a flank on the side by MVP. The medevacs continuing to heal. Does he have enough? And it looks like he does. Squirtle is going to have to run. Yeah, he is just catching up too quickly. Um, I think that was a big mistake there. Uh, the Observer gunned down here too. That was a big mistake by Squirtle to attack in that location. Well, MVP, his macro is really getting out of control here, Tasteless. He's making, he's got a ton of medevacs still. He's making four Vikings at a time. So those Colossi that are now popping out are not going to be very worthwhile. This time he's going to have oh, more nuke, than enough Vikings. Nuke, oh, nuke. God. This is so smart. Oh man, this is scary. Uh, now, does he have an observer there to get that ghost? Oh, it's not entirely be clear. Here. And oh, he got. The, there we All go. All right, so it's been a damage. It doesn't look like he's going to go back now. Now we do have three, three on the way for MVP. I believe Squirtle's at two, two right now. Trying to snipe off some ghosts. You know, this is. I like him using a lot of cloak ghosts right now and doing things like nukes because. Squirtle's using his robotics a lot for yeah. Colossi right now. And if you're using it for Colossi, you can't use it for anything. Yeah, it's, it's going to screw up your production rate. So, right so um, he's moving in here again. The army stims and goes back. Now, it does look like MVP less interested in killing off the fourth and more interested in denying the fifth. If you notice, uh, mm. Squirtle's having to constantly uh, reposition himself. And in fact, this may be another moment where he's going to attack again. That's a lot of Vikings. That Claus is going to have to be very careful. He cannot really engage this army. Here we go. The rest of the army coming up now. But MVP has a lot. Dealing a ton of damage here. Down goes one Claus. I, I, I think there one. are just too many Vikings. The yeah. Claus, I all go down. Oh, man. It, these stalkers cannot fight against this army. He has to run. It looks like this is going to be his final stand, Tasteless. He's going to lose so much. Yeah, there's just too many medevacs. That's right. And the club looks like these stalkers, the micro, are doing very well, but they've taken too much nothing, damage. Nothing that Karen is really dying, if yeah. you watch carefully here. The stalkers, uh, they, they can reach in shields, but not in this way with this battle. I think he's going to lose that. Lose him. Drop the mana mules wow. in the last second. Oh Dude, my god. MVP. You know, that one valley loss was like, what? He had the hugest concave. I can't even believe Squirrel walked into there, but he didn't yeah. have the Viking count. So that was Squirrel's chance, but then a slight overcommittal. And having no observer in his army was terrible because he lost like three of those Colossi to Cloak Ghosts. What? We never see that. That was actually a really weird twist, right? The other uh, Star-Tail members going in there trying to talk to Squirtle and, you know, I guess give him whatever words they can that's going to help him go through there. The MVP coach. They're probably talking about what they're going to do with all the money. They're going to win. He's like, so you're going to bring me out to dinner, right? And he's like, yeah, I'll bring you down the street right over there. <laughs> That'd be pretty nice. TJ at Fridays, okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get some margaritas. <laughs> that's going to be crazy tonight. It's going to be crazy. It's margarita night. <laughs> Every Tuesday. Um, TGI Friday. That's right. All right. Clearly a lot of support here uh, for Squirtle and MVP, actually. This is, uh, it's hard to explain just how packed it really is in here, but damn, yeah. I am getting a little bit worried here for Squirtle. I was hoping that 
Squirtle would win at least the first few. I did predict MVP to win, but still, I don't know. It's it's looking harder and harder for Squirtle to come back here. He's not playing the way that we normally see him play. I think that this stage of this magnitude might be breaking him. I mean, we saw that Immortal get rallied through, and as soon as that happened, man, that's going to mess with most people's brains. That's going to mess up with it. Very few players can play well from there. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm getting a phone call from MVP. What, what's, hold on. Hello? Hey, how are you talking to me right now? I can see your mouth isn't moving in, in the preview screen I have. Seven days till what? Hello? Seven days till what? Oh my God. He's that scary. You saw, <laughs> you saw the ring, right? I did it. I just did that. <laughs> That's how deadly like, wait is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ness calling me. Hello? Ness G? How are you talking to me through my hand? <laughs> how are you talking to me through my hand? He's like, well, I'm Ness G. I can do that. Like, <laughs> oh man, I, on a serious note, I'm really, uh, I'm really concerned for uh, MVP. I mean, uh, for uh, a Squirtle here. Because like, the game number two, he had a chance. I think he shouldn't have attacked the third base. Oh, uh, I think he should have gone yeah, for the fourth yeah. or somewhere else. Well, you know, he, he definitely did overcommit a little bit. Not having an observer was a big issue. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, his his robotics build time was used up for most of the game. Doing things like lose that immortal. Was he always going to make the second immortal, or was that to replace the first? We don't know. Maybe he could have fit another observer in there, which would have helped. I think it knows. Knows. overall, it was just Robotech getting killed off too much. Yeah. Immortal, uh, observers, too many observers dying, to be frank. If he yeah. got hallucinate, by the way, he could scout where the big phoenix is. Maybe yeah, that would be too much true. of a giveaway, but, um, you know, well, too bad. Man, I don't know. We'll see. Can Squirtle bring it back in game number three? Because you don't have 3 0 to MVP. Has anyone ever 4 0 to MVP? Anyone ever? No. Not really. No. 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 Well, um, comebacks do occur. We have seen the, uh, the unimaginable here at the GSL, so maybe we will see Squirtle begin to come back. But yeah, right now, momentum is not on Squirtle's side. No, it is not. It certainly is not. He's like the crash test dummy in the car that hit the wall, man. That is how little momentum he has. Yeah, no kidding. Whereas MVP is flying a rocket around the moon at the speed of light. Wow. I, I'm really... Uh, I'm really hoping we can see some great builds by Squirtle, you know? Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's great at preparing for these games. Maybe it's, you know, the pressure of being on a stage like this. In the most prestigious tournament in the whole world. Um, I know he could have been the first world rotor. Let's see, though. He still has a chance. It's just going to be harder and harder, though, if he keeps losing games like this. That. Right. He has, right now, one more chance to mess up. MVP looking very dominant. Let's see if uh, maybe he's going to close this out or Squirtle's going to have an epic comeback. Ace is with me as Artosis in Seoul, Korea. In year two of the greatest esports show in the world, the GSL Codex. This is a tricky map here for.